Two decades since the Cardinals switched coasts, leaving St. Pete in the rearview mirror and embracing the Atlantic Ocean. Jupiter, Florida, really a year-round hub for Cardinal activity, but the main focus, of course, is spring training. And Fox 2's Charlie Marlowe dusting off the winter coat and the expense report. Chuck is ready to roll. Charlie, take it away. Yeah, who would have thought I'd be wearing the winter coat here first day of spring training, but that's how it happens. Temperatures in the 60s. Again, I'm not complaining. I know it's bad back in St. Louis. There are supposed to be lows in the mid-30s. That is chilly for Jupiter, Florida. But, Martin, uh, spring training is about new beginnings, a fresh start, clean slate, and probably nobody was looking more so to turn the calendar from 2014 to 2015 than Michael Wack, a very rough ending to 2014 for him. Didn't pitch hardly at all the second half of the season, made just 19 starts in all, sidelined with a stress reaction in his shoulder, had the nightmare finish again to his 2014, allowed the walk-off three-run homer to Travis Ishikawa in the NLCS after not pitching all postseason long. But now, though, Waka says he's healthy and doesn't even think about his shoulder. Completely out of it. Yeah, I, I feel like you can't go out there and perform the way you want to perform if you're thinking about an injury or a pass injury or, you know, what's going to happen. So, you know, mine's totally cleared, ready to, uh, you know, go out here and, you know, see all these guys and start pitching and, uh, you know, get back in the groove of things. And remember when Waka did pitch last season, he was very good, 3.20 ERA in those 19 starts. And remember 2013 at the end of the season in the playoffs, he was the best pitcher on the planet till that last start in the World Series. So Martin, if a healthy Waka is back in that starting rotation, that's another potential ace for the Cardinals. Charlie Marlowe live in Florida. Now to hockey. Blues resting up for the busy weekend. Back-to-back -back home games Friday and Saturday, both from the East, which is good news based on the recent results. Boston Bruins are here tomorrow night and then the Pittsburgh Penguins on Saturday. We featured the NFL Combine last night, and yes, it is a media mess with a 1,000 media members credential, but it's all about the college talent on parade, and that includes Missouri's left tackle Mitch Morris, hoping to get noticed this weekend. Our days are pretty much, like I said, set in stone. Um, staying loose, I mean, not, not just physically, but mentally, um, how you're feeling, don't get too uptight. And you know, you go through your informal interviews and coaches are pulling you from here to here. And uh, yeah, it's a little nerve wracking at first, but once you really decide to kind of be yourself, just talk to the person, it, it, it's turned out just fine. And there are plenty of Mizzou alums playing right now in the NFL. All right, Martin, thank you so much. Wing coverage you can count on continues the behind the scenes look of Saturday Night Live's 40th anniversary reunion show. Get great offers on our exciting full line at Nissan Now. Shop ChooseNissan.com. I always planned on finishing my degree. Then this happened. And then this happened. Yes. 